My name is Caleb Vatrell. Uh, I'm a junior here at ENC and I've been working on the earthquake forecasting projects for about two years now. Uh, this past summer I worked on something called the data acquisition platform, uh, which is the part of the earthquake forecasting project that kind of takes all the data and remotely transmits it back to ENC. Uh, so we have here a little um, microcomputer, it's called a Raspberry Pi. So this is what we'll be deploying in remote locations to help detect earthquakes. So we have what's called an analog to digital converter, which is going to take in data from some of the other instruments that other students are designing. Uh, it'll go into this little computer and it'll transmit over back to ENC on our supercomputer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this started. So now that I've started data recording, um, the Raspberry Pi is taking in the data from this sensor that we have, uh, and it's coming in in real time, uh, transmitting to the supercomputer. Uh, and what we can look at on my computer screen is actually the data from this sensor coming in in real time. And so what we hope to do with this is uh, set up a remote monitoring station around the world around uh, earthquake fault lines. So we'll have a system of these Raspberry Pis connected to many sensors, uh, constantly recording data in real time so that we can analyze it. So what we have here is our supercomputer, which is uh, basically collecting the data that we're recording from those Raspberry Pis that we're going to be distributing throughout the world. Uh, we have what's called a time series database, uh, which records entries uh, for each of the measurements that we take and where they get uploaded here to the server that we're running on the supercomputer uh, so that we can take a look at the data that we're recording worldwide at any time. So if there's an earthquake, we can analyze the effects of it.